Yo, what up, what up, what up? This is JJ, AKA Tech Boogie. And I just arrived at my hotel right outside of Yosemite, about an hour in Mariposa. And I'm gonna be spending the next couple days going to Yosemite, into the valley, to try to capture the firefall. I know you've probably seen photos of this beautiful granite mountain with this lava stream coming down off the side. Well, this is my first time trying to capture it myself. This is something that happens in Yosemite every year for two weeks, roughly, uh, in February, if the conditions are perfect. So I look forward to taking y'all along with me on this adventure right here. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm about to check into my hotel room and do some work before I pass out so I can wake up fresh and uh, get to cracking, get to Yosemite and uh, get to trying to capture this thing. So I uh, hope you all enjoy this video. Let's go. Peace, peace, peace from Yosemite Valley. We on day one of trying to capture the infamous, elusive fireball. <laughs> this is my first time ever doing this. I've been to Yosemite like maybe 15 times, but I don't know. I always just felt like I've seen the pictures of firefall and it looked dope, but you know what? It's a pandemic right now, it's COVID. I've been kind of cooped up in the house and I wanted to get out of the house for a while. So I thought I'd take my stab at uh, capturing the mystical firefall. So but I'm actually running a little bit late right now. I guess it's supposed to happen in about 45 minutes right now. The crazy part, the crazy part is that because there's so many people coming into the valley to get pictures of it to maintain the environment, they cut down the parking spots that are near it to stop people from littering and also to help with foot traffic from killing like the, the sensitive wildlife. So you have to park about a mile away and then walk to go see it. And uh, since I came late, I had to park beyond, like a half a mile beyond carrying my tripod with all my equipment on my back. <sighs> but I'm out here and I'm ready to get after it. All right, let's see what we can get. We it's just sizzling. What up, y'all? Made it to the firefall, baby. Look at all these people set up, though. <laughs> this is what happens really behind the scenes. These dope photo spots. Yeah. You don't usually see that in the behind the scenes. Here you go. But I'm here, I'm set up. We got about 25 minutes, 30 minutes until the, until the magic starts. I got my camera over here set up on a tripod doing a time lapse. You see that? Yeah, buddy. That's them, that's them pre-bangers. Them pre-bangers, just getting it warmed up. Just getting it warmed up out here. I Googled it and the perfect conditions are no clouds, clear skies, right as the sun is setting, like as the, as the sun is going below the horizon. So we're about 25 minutes away right now. 
as you can see, the clouds are, I'm gonna show you the time lapse, the clouds are rolling in over it. So if it stays like that, we are gonna have a bust. It still looks gorgeous, but it's not gonna be the firefall if those clouds stay there. So hoping, wishing, hoping that those clouds dissipate and uh, we get popping out here. All right, still waiting. Clouds are coming in right when we do not want them to be here. So it's kind of blocking out the view. Damn. <laughs> right, where the, right where the sun set. It might be a bust. We'll see if it clears up, but Firefall try number one, day one, might be a bust. It might be a bust. I'm gonna hold out, let's see. There we go. Okay. Damn. Yo, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm fired up. We uh, <laughs> we saw that shit. Fireball is lit. Ah. We was about to leave. I was feeling real lazy. And um, I was gonna put my tripod up. I was just about to put my tripod up and then just started hearing like cheers in the background, like woo, woo, huh? Ah. And I looked over and it was happening. Lava coming down off the mountain.